But we have Coach Charles Ibeziako on the line, the owner of Raptors Basketball Academy and, of course, the basketball club speaking with us this morning all the way from Onicha. Good morning, Coach Charles. Good morning. How are you doing? Very well. It's been a long time we heard from you. <laughs> yeah. Now, let's um, talk about the coronavirus and uh, its effect on the world of basketball, especially the Nigerian Basketball League. Yeah, you know, uh, we, are, we are getting ready for, before this uh, coronavirus started, we are getting ready for the uh, National Festival in uh, Edo. Yeah. So I was in, uh, uh, in Anambra State because I'm the one taking Anambra State to the proper. Okay. So that we already spent two weeks in the camp getting ready for the best. All of a sudden, they decamped us. Yeah. And uh, this is uh, what really set uh, a lot of things back because, you know, the door was getting ready to host the nation. You know, for the first time after them, Lego State hosted us about a few years ago. Mm. And everybody was getting ready and excited that it's going to be a, a, a big one. And uh, all of a sudden, this is a coronavirus a virus came up. Mm. All right, uh, looking at uh, the game of basketball in Nigeria and, uh, of course, uh, from the grassroots level, um, how have you been relating with your, uh, your basketball team? Have they been communicating with you? Yeah, it, it's very, very difficult right now because of the lockdown. And uh, my own academy in Lagos is not functioning. And uh, here in Onitsha, um, you know, nothing is functioning. Nobody's playing basketball because of the distance, giving distance from a, a crowd. Yeah, and uh, it's, it's it's very hard, you know, because we have a lot of um, program this year. You know, you know, in Lagos, we already started in a youth alive. Yes, and it's going to be one of the best this year because they involve the uh, secondary school, high school people. So we have categories of under 13, under 16, under 18, and the uh, elite, and it's kind of setback, big setback. Because we, as you know, we're coming back from them. As we plan it, after the proper in the beginning, they were coming back to Lagos to continue playing. And uh, right now, we don't have a position. Wow. And uh, from these competitions now, was this where you picked out one of your uh, best players, talking about um, um, Chuku Dalu Egbe Jogu? Yeah, um, I talk to him every day. You know, he's in a... Senegal is going to be his last year in the uh, MB Academy in Africa. And uh, we're hoping that after this uh, thing, uh, I believe that this uh, virus will end because it's going to uh, get out of um, MBA uh, this in Africa, August. And uh, we are looking forward for him to continue his education in America. Now, how did you get to, let's talk about uh, Chukodalu for a little bit now. How did you get to discover um, this player and what are the chances that he has to feature for the Tigers? Uh, yeah, um, uh, Chukodalu is a big, uh, big, big uh, point guard that Nigeria would not uh, try with. You know, I am right now in Onitsha, where I discovered him in 2014. Yes. When I came over for, my, for vacation, and, and I went to watch, and I saw him, and I found something in him, and I told him that I really need to train him. Mm. Uh, uh, right now, he's going to be a big player in Tigers, the Tigers. And I believe that, you know, in the future, you know, they will invite him. All right. Thank you very much, Coach, for talking to us this morning. And we hope that the coronavirus pandemic ends very soon, and we get back to playing basketball. Nice having you. Thank you. All right, I do enjoy the rest of your day.